Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Um, hope you are doing well today. We are going to talk about place value, um, something that I'm sure you have talked about before, but may have forgotten about. Um, so place value really is about where you place a number, right? It has a lot to do with its value. Uh, so for example, if you look here, uh, the basic place value chart, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. If I were to put a five here, you know, let's say that meant five dollars, <clears throat> that's just five dollars. Uh, if I were to put it here, that five, that same five, is actually not five dollars. How much is it? Well, it's in the tens place, so five tens is actually fifty dollars. Okay, what if I were to put it way over here? That's certainly not just worth five dollars, it's worth five thousands, so that's actually worth five thousand dollars. So whether you put the five here or over here clearly makes a really big difference in the value of the number we're talking about. So uh, let's go to uh, this cool math app that I've discovered, um, which I will is a link. There's going to be a link in your slide, and let's come up with a number. Let's just keep it simple to begin with. Let's say that we have the number one hundred fifty. Uh, say four. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to represent this number with what we call base 10 pieces. You probably used those before in your classroom. Uh, they may not have been red, green, and yellow, but I think they're usually green or blue. So we're gonna start with the 100. So we've got 100. Whoa, it's big, right? We've got one 100. Okay. Um, and we have, actually let's make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> And we also have 50, so that's five. That five means five tens place. Sorry, it's in the tens place, so that means five tens. So we have four tens, five tens. Okay, so so far we have, here's our, here's our 100, right? So our one is here, our five is here. Now our four, we're gonna put, ah, it's not moving. We're gonna put over here, that is four ones. So here are ones. We've got one. So if you if you use this math app, it's actually really fun. Um, if you if you come down here, this these two little rectangles. If you click it, it says duplicate, and let's we'll duplicate whatever the last thing is that you did. So duplicate it once, two times, three times, and I should now have one hundred fifty four. So over here we have our ones place. Then we have our tens place and then our hundreds place. So what you would write is you have one hundred plus, this is ex called expanded notation, fifty, because the value of these five tens is fifty, plus because the value of those four ones is just four. Okay, so we have 154, 100, five tens, four ones, 100 plus 50 plus four equals 154. All right, so let's try another one. If I click here, okay, it's gonna say clear all drawing, yes, okay. And, and then if I click back on my marker over here, it gives me the pointer and I can delete things, okay? So I'm gonna delete this. If I click here and I hit the Shift key, and I keep clicking, I can select all of it. Okay, and if I hit Delete, it takes care of that, yes. Or I can just put a circle around it, and it highlights it, and I hit Delete, and it's all gone. So let's do one more problem. Uh, on the next slide, there's going to be some numbers that I would like you to do the same thing with, and I'll show you what that looks like, okay? So 
Um, let's do the number, I don't know, 300. Let's say 300. 28. Okay, so we have three hundreds. That's in the hundreds place. So let's bring out a let's bring out a hundred and another hundred and another hundred. We take up a lot of space, right? Now let's go to the two, which is in the tens place. So we have two tens. And this is a 10 because you can see that there are 10 ones in there, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So it's 1, 10, 2, 10. So there's our two 10s. All right? And we, we have 8 ones. So let's do our ones. Let's grab one, bring it over, and we'll duplicate it to make it easier. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I started with one, I added seven, that should give me a total of eight. So we'll spread these out. So in fact, let's see, I do have like five here, and I have three here, five and three makes eight. Okay, so go back to our pen. We have here, we have 300, right? Because you can see in each one of those hundreds, there's a hundred ones, right? There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so that, this 100 right here has 100 ones in it. And this has 100, and this has 100. So 300, uh, let's go back to our pen, plus, plus, uh, we have 210, so that's going to be a value of 20, plus, and we have 8 ones, so that's 8. So we call this expanded notation. It's expanded because you write down the value of each number. But uh, girls and boys, you'll notice when I say the number 320, sorry, 328, I actually say it in an expanded notation, right? So 328. Okay, so there it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, there it is. So <clears throat> if we come back over here, what I would like you to do with the numbers on the next slide is the following. So all you need is a blank piece of paper, okay, and a pen or a marker or pencil. Pencil is probably ideal because then you can erase if you need to. So I don't have a pencil, so I'm using a pen. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw, uh, let's see, I'm going to draw probably four lines. One, no, I'm going to draw three lines. One, two, three lines like this. Okay, nothing fancy. Over here, you're gonna write your ones, that's your ones place. Here, you'll never guess, it's gonna be the what place? The tens, okay? This is your hundreds. So for today, we're just gonna go to the hundreds. All right, and here, I'm just gonna write that symbol, that means number. It's like the, uh, it's like the pound sign, number, okay? So we have our hundreds place, tens place, and ones place. So um, for example, uh, if I were to do the, pro the number I did before, 154, okay, I would represent that, I can draw it. I can do 100, so I just draw a square. I can do five tens. So just a line like this represents a 10. Okay, so we know that there's 10 ones in that 10. And there's 10 tens in this hundred. Okay, so we've got five tens, so one, two, three, four, five. Um, by the way, you don't have to do this one. I'm just showing you how to do the, um, the problems on the, on the next slide. Okay, if you want to follow along, that's great, but I'm just showing you right now. And we have four ones. One, two, three, four. So nothing fancy. Your ones can just be uh, dots. Okay. So we have four ones, five tens, and one hundred. So what you're going to write down is one, the value of each uh, <clears throat> place value. So you've got one hundred, you've got five tens, which is fifty, a uh, little plus sign, plus you've got four ones. Okay, so one hundred fifty-four. So that number is done. So I draw another line, 
And let's say I did another number. Let's say we did 989. Okay, like a really big number. Then you would draw 900s. I think that's 900s. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I drew too many. I'll cross that off or erase it. Uh, I've got 8 tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And I have nine ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I didn't go over that time. So what's the value here? Well, I have nine hundred, so that's nine hundred. Plus, I have uh, eight tens, so that's eighty. Plus, I have nine ones, which is nine. And that all equals nine hundred eighty nine equals 154. Okay, so you can look at this video to help you. Um, again, this is a review, okay, to show how you can um, break out any number into expanded notation. All right, and so when you do your numbers, it should look just like mine, okay, and then you can show it to your teacher later on. All right, great job. Nice talking to you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.